Ah, welcome back uh, my gardening friends to June's uh, vegetable harvest and we'll start off at home in the uh, greenhouse grow room. Now I purchased some uh, lettuce uh, online and I've classed this as lettuce too. Uh, I know which ones uh, are which and uh, this is um, the second sowing. There's the first, we're going to start taking a few leaves off those now. I'm experimenting just uh, with small trays. Uh, I'm going to uh, put my liquid plant foods in the water at the bottom. Uh, everything in here now does really need a feed. And uh, there's another sow in there. And uh, we've got quite a few of the uh, market more cucumbers. Uh, there's uh, three to harvest on there, is there? Or is there four? Get this four there and uh, it's uh, trailing up the greenhouse uh, nicely. Some very very late uh, chitting going on um, from left to right at different stages. I might get something out of the one on the right there. These are the dahlia cuttings. Uh, I presume I've got to take these flowers off um, to stop them from so it uh, builds the roots and any tubers but only lost one early on the uh, broody butchers uh, we've got some of the trusses on there there's another one there so uh, they'll need a feed moving on to the money makers uh, just a few starting to form now Got one there And the telepathy cucumbers, uh, that's got a little bit long. I prefer to pick them this sort of size. Cut that in half, straight into my uh, lunch box. So we've got a few cucumbers to harvest. The giant tomato for Malvern. I've got one really good flower head on there, so I've cut the rest of the flowers off. Uh, there seems to be another one forming there. It's got uh, multi heads. And uh, we've got, that's the shop bought cherry. So the, uh, the vine tomato, the cherry tomatoes. And forgot to mention this one here. It's the one that uh, Jazz sent me. It's like a dwarf variety. Let's see if I can see the label. champion dwarf stock tomato be interesting to see what that looks like that's really green and uh, compact and I'm looking forward to seeing what the tomatoes taste like on that so let's get off up to the allotment these are the seeds before we disappear the uh, wood chip uh, experiment going to leave them in the shade for now but uh, I'll bring them out into the light as soon as they start to germinate. So we're back on plot three uh, in the polytunnel and the uh, sweet candle carrots. I've had to, had to, I've have, I'll give them some water. I did say that I wasn't going to, but they did start to droop. So they've had uh, a drink they're reaching for the light so not sure what we'll get but everything else in the polytunnel uh, even my last giant onion uh, is doing absolutely fine and uh, if we just have a quick look at uh, one or two of the uh, the grapes I'm hoping that we can see those better now with the light but uh, yeah the uh, grape vines are coming on uh, really well and I'll be deciding uh, which ones need to come off those that aren't uh, very good this is coming off uh, this one in the corner so I may take those off we've got a few uh, peppers they're not ready but because there's so many I'll be taking those ideal for uh, the lunch box And uh, some of the uh, Diablos, they're coming on nicely now as well. 
and uh, there's one of the carrots just uncovered uh, we're outside in the salad bed and we've got a few leaves there on the chard that haven't got any uh, contamination because we uh, we don't want any uh, protein do we and the uh, the lettuce under here is doing far better than uh, in containers so I probably won't bother doing uh, it uh, in containers again carrot in a bottle and I think there's a few radishes uh, just there managed to get uh, a lot of the uh, weeds out of here and uh, there is a cabbage that is ready but uh, a bit of a priority is uh, the broccoli which is uh, slightly blown but we'll uh, take a, a meal out of that I had some of this give me but I'm not sure what it is it looks like celery but uh, found a few spaces in here these are the giant cabbages shan't be harvesting those hopefully they're looking promising at the moment especially in here and the red cabbages are uh, hearting up uh, quite nicely won't be long before these trailing cherry tomatoes start uh, getting uh, tomatoes on there we go there's one of them it's surprising how quickly they do uh, do come but uh, they uh, won't be long before they're here. Celery in the bed doing well. And it won't be long before we get uh, a pea harvest. Got some uh, what looks like rust on the uh, broad beans and uh, blackfly so I think most of these be broad beans will be uh, coming uh, off today long beans they've all got flowers on them now we'll mark it more cucumber on that plant no, no. I don't think they really should be outside but we had plenty of them and these are Bill and Val's uh, peas I'm standing up straight and they're nearly at the top of the structure, so they're nearly uh, nearly six foot tall. Absolutely plenty of kale. Keep taking two or three leaves from them onto the peacock white. That's uh, been really good. The pigeons haven't took a fancy to it. and I uh, must check to see if I've got any turnips ready. Now I've had an issue with the French beans here. They're just going a, a little bit yellow. Not luckily, looking uh, overly happy. I'm not sure whether that's uh, too much water like somebody made a comment uh, in one of my previous videos. The uh, black currants have just started to turn. So it looks like we got rid of the uh, green fly there and they're coming on nicely. We should get uh, some uh, nice uh, raspberries today as well. They're just uh, started to uh, ripen. And there are massive amounts of strawberries now that the blackbirds have decided to uh, leave me. Excuse me. get a cherry I've netted it up will it be me or will it be the birds the uh, strawberry tower with a built-in wormery has worked out uh, reasonably well but obviously using homemade compost I've got uh, docks dandelions and all sorts uh, hanging out the holes as well but uh, no well worth doing
<coughs> these are the dahlias and uh, they're all looking uh, quite nice I'm not going to uh, take them out of the pots this year we're going to leave them as they are but I will plant them directly into the uh, wildflower garden unless the wife claims them I've had one of these uh, break off it looked like it died I've let the side shoot go but I've also planted in uh, a spare just started to uh, form there so it won't be long before we're getting a few of those and Brayburn apples coming on nicely well it's a little bit quieter now um, I think that's the best strawberry of the day that's uh, really nice I'll save that one for Mrs King will I or won't I of course I will I also pick um, the damaged ones the birds have had uh, just wash everything and then slice everything up I don't like any waste we've got a few of the peppers a few of the radishes that are left I did find um, a turnip in the end nice big bag full of uh, lettuce leaves nice big bag full of the dwarf green kale and the peacock white uh, nice bag full of broccoli we'll have most of that today and then the lad will have the rest of that uh, to uh, blend uh, for his drinks and uh, a full bag of broad beans they'll be eaten probably today on uh, the uh, Sunday dinner so it's uh, Sunday the 23rd and you'll see this video uh, in the week you've already will have seen the uh, potatoes from the rockets I'll uh, put uh, a link to that on the screen and it won't be long before I uh, harvest a few carrots what I will do is probably take um, uh, take a few out from either side so it gives the others more room like I said earlier I wasn't going to water these but they're in the polytunnel we've had a lot of heat and they weren't looking happy so I'll give them all a drink and uh, we have got some bottoms but it depends on how well they develop plenty of water I think will uh, help them so thank you for watching the June uh, harvest not a great deal let's well, say you've seen the potatoes already if you've seen that um, rocket potato reveal and the experiment but as long as we keep getting a little bit uh, each week and well I say the strawberries have been absolutely beautiful and there's just one more thing that I've forgotten to collect my first summer fruit in raspberries the ones on the right are from out of the fruit cage and those are from uh, plot one so it looks like I've got a summer fruit in outside so we'll see how many the birds have but like I say I think there's plenty of other food or ev they're eating everybody else's and uh, yeah nice crop I've had to uh, rush this a little bit because uh, we're forecast uh, some quite bad thunderstorms uh, early hours of uh, tomorrow morning on the 24th uh, into Tuesday so didn't want to, uh, anything else to spoil and of course we needed to get the uh, broccoli in before it uh, uh, did spoils uh, completely without the uh, weather but it's probably weather that's caused it or me not being vigilant enough Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.
last video has been a little bit noisy but uh, that's everybody's plot holders needs to do what they need to do. Ta-da!